to this year's national pilgrimage here at the Shrine of Carthen. And during this Mass, to consecrate our nation and ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Fantastic, fantastic day, yeah, lovely, I mean, very wet of course, but uh, the spirit has been really buoyant, uh, I mean, a, a great event for Scotland, for Catholics in Scotland, to see, and to get to the traditional basis of the faith, you know, to turn to fundamentals that people find important, it's brought them out, you see, in this terrible weather, but people have been fu full of uh, happiness and joy, and in such a profound and historic moment, it's been great to be here. We had a. We come from Aberdeen. Aberdeen, in Scotland. We went to yeah. uh, Orkney the Orkney. last time we seen you, yeah. yeah. and now we're here for, from Aberdeen. I enjoyed it very much. Yes, it was. It was something I've been looking forward to for a while. So yeah. I'm glad it finally happened. Today we consecrate Scotland to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We express together sorrow for our personal and communal sinfulness and we implore Mary's guidance and strength that we live as a Christian nation should. It was lovely, it was really nice, um, really heartfelt. It was, um, it was a lovely dedication, it really was. Um, Archbishop Philip's words were really touching, they were lovely. And I think it was just the sentiments of what everybody was sitting feeling, despite the rain. It was definitely worth it, you know, still smiling. <laughs> Soaked through, but still smiling, it was incredible, yeah. There are many people here today many thousands. Would it not be lovely as we consecrate our country that every one of us says, I am determined to be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart as well. With God's grace, I want to every day, every situation, to say yes to God. Imagine that. Absolutely beautiful. The liturgy was beautiful. The turnout was incredible so the atmosphere was fantastic unfortunately i was sitting in the rain the whole time so i am soaking but i didn't mind because it was it was so good to be here thousands of people all over our country in all the various communities and our families our cities our towns our villages and even on our islands imagine everywhere thousands of people every day every circumstance striving to say yes so we come from Lebanon and uh, obviously it's a big uh, event, event today so it's a consecration of the Virgin Mary which is which means a lot to us in the Middle East we hold uh, events like that quite often and uh, you know it, to visit such a historic uh, day it's it's great to be part of and Lebanon has been consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary in 2013 yeah, yeah. so it's a good event here as yeah. well and you know we're quite proud of it like you say you know for the Catholic face as well that everybody there's a, a big number here that to attend you know so yeah what a force for good that would be within Scotland giving a great example and inspiration to everyone as we pray on our nation's behalf our mothers are very precious to us even if they are long dead we know they loved us and they only want what is best for us. Our Heavenly Mother loves us and only wants what is best for us. The day was a very, very special day. Obviously, the people in Kirfin who we venerate our lead in a special way. But for everyone in the whole country, consecrating the country to our Blessed Lady is a great step forward for the country and hopefully will bring many, many benefits, spiritual and otherwise, to the country in the next few years. 100 years ago in Fatima, our Lady insisted to us, her children, that her Immaculate Heart will triumph. Our Lady reminded us that sin most certainly, yes, has a grip in the world. But the person who, relying on God's grace, determines in his or her heart to reject sin and embrace the ways of God. 
that person to will triumph. The Immaculate Heart of Mary is both a consolation and inspiration to us. My dear brothers and sisters, we're now going to pray the consecration prayer, the consecration of Scotland to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I think because of its importance that we should all together pray this prayer of consecration. We all consecrate ourselves and our country to the Immaculate Heart of May. Queen of heaven and earth and tender mother of all people, in accordance with your ardent wish made known to the three children at Fatima, we consecrate to your Immaculate Heart our beloved country of Scotland. We stand confidently before you today, O Holy Mother of God. Inflame us with the same divine fire which inflamed your own Immaculate Heart. Reign over us and teach us how to make the heart of Jesus reign and triumph in us and around us as it has reigned and triumphed in you. Make our country and its people your shrine, O Holy Mother of God, so that we may be yours in prosperity and adversity, in joy and sorrow, in health and sickness, in life and death. We consecrate Scotland to you, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our minds and hearts our bodies and souls. We willingly place at your service our homes and our families, our parishes and schools. We desire that everything that is within us and around us may belong to you, O Mary. That this consecration may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day the promises of our baptism and their confirmation to be faithful witnesses to the good news of Jesus Christ. We pledge ourselves to foster the true love of the Mass and devotion to the real presence of your Son in the Blessed Sacrament. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and His Holy Church. We undertake to promote in our homes and parishes a virtuous life. We pledge ourselves to recite the rosary more frequently and to make reparation for the boldness and indifference of so many human hearts. And finally, we promise you, O glorious Mother of God, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to the service of your blessed name in order to assure through the sovereignty of your immaculate heart the coming of the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Fatima. Much rain shows the grace is all the greater and the purification and, and the, the depth of the purification and mercy that's enfolding Scotland. So Scotland belongs to our Blessed Mother and I can't tell you what an awesome spiritual moment this is for the history of the church in Scotland and for Scotland as a nation. And Scotland can now begin, especially the church in Scotland, can begin to claim its true place and destiny, spiritual destiny, both for Scotland and for the world. It was terrific. It surpassed my expectations, really. I mean, I thought it was a supernatural event, which is the amazing thing about it, is that we have the authority as the successors of the apostles to bind on earth what the Lord will bind and the Lord will consider bound in heaven what we bind in heaven. And so we, as um, the College of Bishops in Scotland, ask the Lord to bind on, in heaven that Our Lady would be the Queen of Scotland. And so that was an amazing thing, really. And I think the people, the lay faithful from whom this originated, really got that sense. It turned out in greater numbers than we could have imagined. Stayed through the pouring rain 
and their faith and their prayers and their singing just get more and more triumphant. So a great day for Scotland, but the fruits of it for forever.